it's Sunday morning, October 2nd, and a couple of mornings ago, Friday morning, I spent an interesting time with some fun seniors brought to us through U.S. Tours, and our friends Tina and Alan with Blue Sky Tours out of Charlotte. And while we were at the shrimp docks, the 11th Street shrimp docks here in Fort Royal, um, I was there uh, with them to discuss the life cycle of the white shrimp and to explain how shrimp boats work. Uh, while there, I pulled up a line that hangs over the side of the dock um, constantly uh, to show the folks some of the fouling organisms that grow um, below the water line. And as I pulled it up, I spotted this young spider crab on there and so he was collected at that time and um, since then he has been in one of my small containers in the uh, wet lab here at the estuarium uh, waiting to have a new display tank have set up for him. Last night he molted and uh, what I want you to observe is What's kind of interesting, this is his old exoskeleton right here, and you will observe on there some branching bryozoa. It's one of the more common found in the area, <clears throat> and we discuss bryozoans uh, as fouling organisms, and we also discussed how the spider crabs are also known as decorator crabs, in that they take pieces of their environment and attach it to their exoskeleton to provide a certain amount of camouflage. So we've got this little guy right here, um, his exoskeleton, and then we have the little spider crab himself. And so I will be, over the days ahead when I set up his new tank, I'll be providing him with uh, some things uh, to decorate uh, his new exoskeleton. And so uh, we'll, uh, we'll visit this guy later on. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a nickel down in this container just to give you an idea of the size. So we'll wait a moment and I'll do that. This is just to give you an idea of the relative size of the little guy. Um, you can see the old exoskeleton and how much he's grown. His uh, body right now his main body part his thorax is about the size of a nickel you see him moving pushing his old exoskeleton aside placing that nickel in the container which I've now removed reminds me uh, of a word of caution I'm going to pass along for those who maintain aquariums especially when you have Youngsters, uh, kids like to drop stuff for some reason, like to throw things in aquarium tanks, and <clears throat> a particular harm that can be done would be to have a penny dropped into an aquarium. Pennies are copper, and copper is deadly to marine organisms. Um, if I were to put a penny in any of my saltwater aquariums, um, that penny over time would do serious damage to any critter living in them. So, just a word of caution on that. Now, we're going to leave our little spider crab now, and we will follow him over time to see how he develops. After saying we would follow him over time, I thought it a good idea to check to make sure it was actually a him, and yes it is. You can see by the thin abdominal plate that runs down through the center of his body. So this is a young male, and now we will put him back in his container. <laughs> 